Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is Hendu Jr. This is a continuation of our Tales of Vesperia playthrough. It is technically the definitive edition, but I'm just going to assume people know this. Um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed, please give that a like and subscribe button a good slash with your favorite weapon. And let's go ahead and get on with this. So I should, yes, finally. All right, so with that, I can check Judas' weapons here, cause yeah, she's got crap. Um, yeah, so rune coat, and then she's more of a tiara person, I think. Yeah, Terra Crest. Yeah. Yeah, that works. All of her boots are basically already learned through, so we need to go sandals. What would work? Jeez. So the dragon skin has the best attack, but it drops basically everything else. That's fine. And then war pike. Set this up. No, no. Set this for physical attack, and let's go up the list here. I have plenty of weapons. Ah, the tribal guard. I've got a lot of those. I think it's a drop from an enemy. It's the only thing. Yeah. Of. You know, the only, I think that's the only reason why I have ten of them. Either that or I get it through each and every single playthrough and I've just not sold any of them, which I could absolutely believe. Anyway. Moving on. Uh, yes. Status. So, with her, Lilith, or Judith. I don't know why I said Lilith. D4 is running through my head right now. Anyway. Judy. So, Dragonic Lancer is what she has, which, honestly, if I'm being truthful here, it looks like wedding day lingerie type of look. It's, it's very weird. It's interesting, but it's weird. Um, so let's go ahead and peruse this for a second here. So... <gasps> Oh, the multiple operation system, anti-gnosis annihilation weapon, KPX. Oh my god, that is hilarious. So, none of you know this yet, but as of last week, I started recording uh, a playthrough of... What's the name of it now? Come on. Uh, Xenosaga, which has... Gnosis and anti-gnosis equipment. It has gnosis as enemies and anti-gnosis as the weapons to fight said gnosis. Um, and I've I'm recording that in the background while I'm doing all the rest of this because that game is going to take a lot of grinding and a lot of work, and I don't want to try and cram it in while I'm doing all the rest of this stuff. So I'm kind of planning on recording a chunk of that while I'm still working on these other stories. And then once I'm done with one of these stories, one of the lines, because I'm probably going to finish off, I'll probably end up completing all of the Ratchet and Clank games and then replacing that with Xenosaga. But, um... I'm just, I'm working with that off in the background. I just started working on that last weekend. And then this, which, yep. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it's Cosmos. Oh my. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Oh my god. I never expected that. Oh, that is hilarious. Okay then. I 
I completely forgot about that. I mean, if I had it before, I've completely forgotten about it. So this is awesome. Vengeful Half Elf is that. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, from Tales of the Abyss, which I may or may not do eventually. I don't know. I'm not. I don't have a whole lot of love for the Tales of the Abyss game. It's not my favorite. But all right, that's interesting. School Nurse. That's part of the school DLC stuff cool and then all of these are just her standard wear oh oh geez I forgot the uh, the boots are actually a thing like depending on what kind of boots she has equipped that's literally what she's got on her feet that's interesting um and then the hairpins so cool that's the, the beauty set there Stylish ponytail. Uh, okay, it, it, that it seems a little over the top. I'm just saying, it seems a little over the top. She's got three ponytails, roughly. It's a little much. Pure white dragon rider. Ah, that's her. Basically, the armor that she was wearing without the helmet. Enchanting beauty. It's basically just her in a kimono. Great. This, I think, is some from a hot spring event, if I can remember correctly. If I remember correctly, I think there's a hot spring event that happens. And this is one of her... This is basically the clothes that you... A standard Japanese kimono that is worn after bathing in the hot springs. <clears throat> Glamorous Maid. Oh, geez. Yeah, this is from working at the uh, bar that we went through to get to Barbos's hideout. So, if you work there with it, her long enough, you'll actually end up getting her this. <laughs> you can get that for basically all the girls and Carol, because apparently Carol is part of that for some reason. Into the Sky. Oh. Oh. Isn't that an Eifried look? I think so. Actually, it works really well with her. Guardian of the Truth. Ah. Her full armor set. And that's pretty much it. A trophy wife. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, I'm actually kind of stuck with... uh. Into the Sky, or the one that I started with. I do like this. This definitely seems her style. But the Dragonic Lancer title just fits. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this. If you guys want me to change it, just let me know. I'll change it to whatever. Same with the rest of them, but yeah, I enjoy this one better. So, we'll go with that. Alright. I wonder if there's anything... I've already got too many things open. I'll check it after the fact. Because I can do the food stuff whenever. Alright. Go ahead and save. Yay. All right, so yeah, you've got a lot of stuff that I don't really need. Cool. Yeah, I've been kind of running through everything, so I don't, I don't need any of this. I think she's got that equipped currently. Stormbringer. I'm pretty sure a lot of these are just items that are currently equipped on everyone. Yeah, because I know that's on uh, Raven. Dragon skin, she's got that currently equipped, yeah. So, yeah. I think that's what the case is for a lot of these. Yeah, alright. Alright. Let's go ahead and just... Yep. 
There we go. Whoop. Up we go. You're pretty strong. Can you use an over limit by any chance? Sure, yeah. Okay, then try this. Huh? What's this? The limit duo. Mm -hmm. Your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful over limits. Oh yeah? If your battle spirit is the real thing, that is. So what else can you tell me about these strong over limits? You can produce more power when attacking alone. Is that so? I still don't quite get it. Really? Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Damn it, Yuri. I suppose he's always been a uh, learn through doing than anything else. So. All right, let's get moving then. Mm. Limit duo. Yay. All right. So, there's enemies here. Yay! What the? No. It's probably that there. Whoa. Okay, hi. Can I not open the chest? Or did I pass that? There we go. There it is. Holy crap. Could not see that That's for my life. Practice. Don't get careless. Yeah, she's gonna be like overpowered compared to what she usually is. Because <clears throat> you gotta think, everything here is probably in the upper teens, lower 20s, and here I am in my 40s. So, yeah. <laughs> Might be a little over leveled. Just, just a hair. Just an itty bitty bit. Yeah. Low 40s, I'm pretty sure these things are only in their late teens, early 20s. Don't hurt us now. Oh yeah, early 20s. I have an idea. Turn it down. Destroy. All right, who's next? Destruction field. Luna, I just can't hold back. Yeah. This power will make me stronger. Ashen Moonlight. Nice. Alright, so... We'll check the cooking here, because... Okay, yeah, he's just about done with that. Oh, hey, a Crescent Axe. How about that? Uh, hmm. Hi. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. All right, all right. Yeah, easy win. Yay. Alrighty then. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> These guys. Jeez. There. That's the last of them. <laughs> Looks like you guys have things under control. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, will you? <laughs> Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. 
You worry too much. <laughs> I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Hey, just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. <laughs> well, I for one was worried sick. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Raven. <laughs> yeah, right. Why would you bother coming all the way out here anyway? It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. <laughs> what do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. <laughs> And who might this lovely Critian be? Is she a princess? <laughs> Laying it on a little thick there, old man. <laughs> this is Judith. And we were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise. But we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great old man. Old man. <laughs> uh, I've played this too damn much. It's Raven. R A V E N. Raven. <laughs> you have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Mm hmm. Hmm. That didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Mm hmm. Ooh. I think she likes me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Idiot. <laughs> Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> saved their Yuri. Were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? Nope, not this time either. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hi there, Flynn. Are you all right? <laughs> Out of fucking nowhere. Flynn? <laughs> What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, so things have calmed down. There's no longer any worry of conflict. My people have secured Rago's subordinates, and the Union has neutralized the town's mercenaries. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness, it's terribly dangerous. So please, stay here with Yuri and the others. It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up, we've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Mm -hmm. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just gonna go after you anyway. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yuri. Very well. Then we'll go together. There isn't much time, and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. <laughs> what is it, old man? Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. <laughs> you guess? What's that supposed to mean? Uh... Aren't you a little old for hide and seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? Hi there, Duke. These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. Hmm. All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. 
I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. <laughs> Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me. Best buddy title? Jeez. Flynn joined the party. Reunited with everyone. Oh, you know what? Yeah, hold up a second. Okay, so there is a particular thing that I could do. <clears throat> I kind of want to take a look and see if it is... Or if it will do what I think it will. But... For starters, yeah, let's fix the team. So, see, I do like having Flynn and Judith on the team, but I'm more of a Rita repeat fan. But I suppose we could leave Flynn on. Alright, let's double check Flynn's equipment here. Okay. I don't think that's the best thing for him, but, you know, whatever. And he can equip most of the shields. Okay, so White Knight Shield or the Master Shield. Let's do this one for now. Hunter's monocle. Yeah, okay. Even with a hunter's monocle makes some sense, so... But a blue dice wins, period. Dice, blue dice, blue dice. Alright. Oh, that's because he was the one wearing it. That's right. I forgot about that. Okay, going way too far here. Hunter's monocle, there we go. Up and down, and blue dice, there we go. That's better. Blue dice, blue dice, hunter's monocle, dice. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, um... And then status for Flynn Shifo. Does he. I guess he doesn't have a. a name art. That's weird. Why doesn't he have a standard art? <laughs> I don't get this. That makes no sense. Okay. Uh, square sunglasses. Cool. So he is listed as captain. Lorelei's Swordsman, Luke from Abyss, cool. Uh, Fredrock Knight's Honor, uh, okay, that might be from, okay, cool. Student Body President, okay. Masked Inquisitor, okay. Dreaming Pianist, oh jeez. Arc Lord. Oh god. That's a little much. Hmm. Yeah, see, a lot of his are a little over the top. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go with Lord just just for the hell of it. Okay, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, no, we'll go with Lord. Just for the hell of it. Yeah, that's weird. Alright. 
So, <clears throat> let's return to the field here real quick. We're going to actually go back to Dongrest. Because there's something I want to check. Let's see if I can... Nope, i got to go around. Cool. Yay. Sorry, but you're going bye-bye. Sword rain. Severing blade. Yeah, I beat Jeez. you in next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. These are the threads that weave our future. Do they two level up? Cool. I'll eventually get back to Dawn Rest. Maybe. Ah! That. You. Intercepted me. You bastard. Yeah, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What are your arts, man? Holy sh. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, he's. It's kind of the, the magic swordsman setup. He's basically Lloyd and Kratos fused. Alright then. I suppose no one's really gonna know who those are, but. I finished them off. If you're a fan of the Tales games, which I'm assuming that's why you're watching these, you will know who Lloyd and Kratos are, so. I'm just gonna base oh, it off of that. I feel so powerful. That's the logical Yay, level ups. Alright, um why not? Yep, there we are. Oh uh, yeah, all the HP boosters that I'm not using because I don't need them. <laughs> HP restorers, I should say. Let's go sushi then. Cool. Alright. Alright, so I have two other people on my team who have a crap ton more, uh, what do you want to call them, um, titles? Yes, titles. So, I'm thinking I can talk with that, uh, Cat's Guild dude in the corner, and maybe unlock a few more things. I don't have everyone. There's still one more person that I can get from the team, but this might be enough. Oh, no. Guess that's everything. Hmm, that was pointless. Okay, then. Guess I'm going ahead and call it good here. Uh, that was a total waste of the end of the episode, but whatever. Um, anyway... Thank you guys so much for joining me on this uh, Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I love these games and I'm playing them for basically to show people that don't know of these games the beauty and the entertainment involved with these. They're always long-winded and long-storied, and I know a lot of people don't have the time and the resources to play all of these games like they would want, but I'm hoping that me playing these games and going through and giving, you know, my snide remarks and my comments on it and enjoying the games in general helps people to see the interest in these, and maybe enjoy them themselves. Anyway, with that, my dribble is done. Uh, 
thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.